another episode of Warp Jester Does SMP on the Bottle Rocket Gaming Server. How y'all doing today? Doing good? Good? Good. Good, I'm glad to hear that. Anyways, uh, as promised, I've been trying to get a chance to do some projects with you. Again, they're mostly cosmetics. They're not terribly exciting, so I apologize if I bore you to death. But I figured today would be a good day to sit down and do a little uh, work on uh, the post office and uh, just get a chance to chat and catch you up on what's going on, what's happening around here. Um, I did actually, uh, talk a bit about, uh, the people who have come on board. Um, again, a lot of people are being real active on the server right now. So we're getting, uh, uh, a lot of activity, a lot of things done, which is really nice. Actually, I see, uh, a lot of like the roads and, uh, the power plant and all that is actually getting uh, fleshed out. Uh, talks actually finished the, uh, railcraft, uh, thing, um, the, uh, item station under the, uh, 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 data center over there and uh, he's got it up and running how did I do that he got it up and running so now uh, we're starting to get the trains rolling through there and having trains do exchange and this is great because Sushi and I uh, just the other night actually ran the rails all the way past Arabian Nights our magic town that VSD is creating and uh, have uh, terminated them at uh, mining town. So we'll, we'll take a little flight over there in a little bit and I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, beautiful, beautiful place. There isn't nothing, <laughs> isn't nothing built. There is not anything built there as of yet. However, uh, says she does have big plans and just from the little things she's told me, it sounds absolutely epic. So I'm so excited to hear about that and uh, just getting her to actually kind of dig in, so to speak, and uh, build something I think is just fantastic. She's more of a get on, tune out, and dig holes kind of a person. So to actually get a chance to see some creativity out of her, I am very, very curious and excited to see how that turns out. And of course, I'll uh, definitely be over there helping her out a little bit. And I still want to get a chance to do some of the, uh, meet meet the BRGers, so to speak. I want to do like a little um, you know, episodes here and there of actually working with uh on projects with the different uh, BRGers, just get a chance to talk to them, kind of like what I do with talks in our first episode with him, uh, kind of interviewing him a little bit and kind of getting to know them a little bit. Um, so I'm looking forward to doing that with uh, with Seshi and VSD and all of them. So that'll be something to look forward to. Uh, <laughs> so that's that's a big deal. As I said, uh, we've got uh, Sapper, Cryatic, and uh, Snow Wolf uh, on with us now. Uh, of course, we've got talks now. Ruark is still around, however, he has said in the forums that he's kind of taking a bit of a sabbatical. He's getting a little fried and uh, uh, cited. He's kind of interested in seeing some of the new mod stuff right now. Ruark's actually running a uh, uh, hosting a a host a. a uh, bleh, I cannot speak today. Hi. <laughs> he's actually hosting another modded uh, server, running the uh, Attack of the B Team mod pack. Um, it's a little more. Little more magic based, I guess you could say. It's it's, it's kind of limited on the um, the technology, a little bit here and there, but nothing nothing real dramatic. So it's a very different feel. So it's been very fun. So if you get a chance, definitely hop onto his channel, check those out. Uh, <laughs> he seems to have a lot of fun with that, and he's also got a lot of other uh, cranky crafters on that server. Uh, big damn artist. Uh, um, oh good heavens, uh, Kirok. Uh, I know there's a few other people on there that are actively recording. I can't remember them right now. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, but uh, definitely a bunch of good guys, a lot of good stuff. And I'll tell you, if, if you ever had a chance to watch BDA on his vanilla series, he does incredible work. BDA does uh, beautiful, beautiful builds. He's got just phenomenal stuff built on the vanilla server. And then you get him onto a modded server that has, just of anything else, has chiseled, and has carpenter blocks. And I'm telling you, it's magical. That man is just crazy nuts with design style. It is absolutely epic. If you have not had a chance to check out some of uh, Big Damn Mars, uh, uh work, you definitely need to. Um, I will try to remember to put a link in the notes below for his channel. Uh, doesn't matter what you pick up. It could be, you know, watching the vanilla stuff, watching the mod stuff. Uh, bottom line, the guy is talented. He has got skills when it comes to style. So uh, definitely check that out. Uh, lots of fun stuff there. Um, that is said, uh, Rourke is still around. He's just been, like I said, busy doing this stuff, having fun, uh, which we certainly do appreciate that. So uh, that said, um, one thing to note 
is that we are still working on our new mod pack for 1.7. Now, we are not so quick with the rushing into things. Um, that's just kind of how we are. We tend to be more of a take it slow and easy and, and see where things go. Um, make sure everything works right. As, as much as I appreciate... Oh, this is not going to work out at all. Uh, as much as I appreciate wanting to just dive right into the new stuff, uh, we really want to have, just like with this server, a good, stable mod pack that can preserve itself for a while. This mod pack has its little quirks, has some known issues that we can't fix because the mods are getting long in the tooth or they're sunset so they're not going to be updated anymore so there are known bugs we can't fix but that said uh we try to have fun with it and one of the commitments we made to everybody who's on the server is that we are going to support this uh world for at least one year preferably more whenever we possibly can um but because there is a lot of problems with it um and because there's a lot of itching to try out new things, we are trying to get the other mod pack revved up uh, and into into alpha uh, testing phase so we can actually play with it a little bit and see what it's like so we can do with it. So once that comes online, I will likely uh, jump on that server and do a little bit of uh, uh, testing on it and some fun with it and some builds. Our intention is to literally just go ahead and... Uh, um, kind of do like a, a beta or alpha build like we did for this one before I started recording and just kind of go from there and chances are what's going to happen is we'll get things worked out get mods balanced a bit um, do the, the the tweaking we need to do to make it fit right for what we want this mod pack to be and then uh, we'll move into beta and eventually release as you know you think about again we are pretty, pretty meticulous about this kind of stuff and Again, the reason for it, quite frankly, is that we really want to make sure that it's a good, fun, stable mod pack. And, more importantly, we actually have intention to release this new mod pack. Hello, Wisp. Uh, we actually want to release this mod pack as a public mod pack. So, something that you guys can actually download and play on. Uh, we couldn't do it with this particular mod pack I'm on now because there are some tweaks and adjustments we have to make to Greg Tech, among other things, that are not within the user agreement <laughs> so we can't make it public unfortunately god those things are a real pain to hit <laughs> we don't have an arrow oh but anyways yes yeah, so we're working we're working hard on that well i say turgo's been working hard on that i've been doing a little peripheral work uh helping site mods doing a little basic testing in the pre-alpha phase just kind of get a feel for what the mods are and how they look and work um so just basically just trying to get uh, things ready uh I'm looking forward to that. I really am. I, I love this mod pack. I love this world. Um, we are going to be setting up a second server for the new mod pack as it goes through its phases. And once it turns into release, uh, we're just going to basically continue to support both uh, both worlds, both mod packs, and just do that until everybody's content to have to move off of this current world. Um, there may be people who are happy with playing here or have some big builds have been working on for a while and they really want to just be able to finish up, get those last little bits done. Like, you know, I would, I would die if I didn't get a chance to finish the, uh, the power plant, for example. Um, so we're going to leave it up and running and can just kind of run dual service for a little while, uh, and just wait for everybody to agree this time to shut the old bird down. Uh, so that'll be fun. Um, we technically came out in, in quote-unquote release for this world in November of last year. So we are going to uh, try to hold true to our our commitment of supporting this world for at least one year, preferably, you know, however long people want to have it on. Um, I, I would suspect that a lot of people are going to quickly jump ship and, and head to the newer, brighter, shinier future. But like I said, there may be a few uh, builds people want to, come back to and play with a little bit so we'll make sure we have that uh, have that available anyways I've rambled on enough, enough about that um, uh, I'm, just, I'm sorry I'm very excited about it. there's a lot of lot of news and updates going on with it so it's just I've been very 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 into it um, on this server as I said we've got new people on um, snow wolf is still working on his uh, palace we'll take a look at that in a few here and uh, um, 
Uh, Sapper is way, way, way out. I don't think I, I can't even get on this map here because it's so far out. It's ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, nope, he's 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 off doing his own thing, which is cool. We certainly do encourage people to have fun and and go off and do what they want to do. Um, but I'm gonna try to get a chance to to hang with him a little bit when I get an opportunity to. Again, I really do like the opportunity to sit with the other BRGers and do interviews and whatnot, and just have a chance to hang out with them because that's always a always a blast. Um, so I'll try to get, get a chance to that. Uh, Cryak, I I get to know him. I personally don't know him. Uh, again, he is actually uh, a real world connection to Yankee, and uh, Yankee's one of Brahm on board. I've seen him on. Uh, here and there, from what I gather, he is a another family man like myself, and uh, you know, family family can inhibit a play sometimes. Not a big deal. We all go through that. <laughs> uh, so hopefully, we'll get a chance to know him a little more, and we'll see what uh, see what he does on the server. Uh, uh, Sapper, as I said, has picked out a little spot over in our residential area. I'm hoping he will. Uh, take the opportunity to actually build a little something there. Uh, Viesti started to build there as well as Toxic, so that's really fun. Uh, let's see here. I'm actually uh, trying to get a little bit of a feel for how I want this to look. I am I always get wrapped up in putting a little bit too much detail and stuff, but I'm trying to get kind of the the, the lapping, uh, the metal seams and everything for this. Uh, I need to figure out what I'm going to do for a logo on the side, because uh, if you look at a little picture of a, a mailbox, which I'll Put right up there in the corner. Ta-da! Uh, as you can see, there's uh, like a little beading around the edge here where the legs are, and they kind of strap them together with rivets. And then on the side here, uh, we've got that uh, USPS logo. So I'm not going to try to recreate that because that would be you know, insane and impossible. But I'm trying to figure if I can do some kind of like maybe a BRG logo of some kind uh, along there. Then around the front, I'm going to... Uh, with the little you know, service door and whatnot. And I think just because the way this thing sits, the easiest solution here is going to be doing uh, those uh, elevators from, I think it's, I want to say open blocks or extra utilities. Uh, open, open blocks. Here we go. So this is the uh, elevator uh, block. Uh, let me turn this off here. I was not in cheating mode. I was not cheating on the server. Uh, when I go into the test world, I set myself to uh, <laughs> cheat mode so I can cheat things in. But unfortunately, those uh, settings stay when you flip back and forth between the two different servers. Um, but you can see here, it's some wool and some gold. And what you do is you put it down, and then when you step on top of it, you jump to go up to the next one above you, and you shift to go down. So it'll probably be the easy way in there. Uh, the point of this little place is actually going to be for people to pick up supplies related to post. Uh, if you haven't played with it before, eek, starving, uh, Forestry actually has um, a post office or a postal service. Uh, you can actually create uh, a mailbox and all kinds of stuff. So if we look at, uh, oh, let's see here if we can't do this. Mail. You see right here we've got our little mailbox. That's a forestry-based mailbox, and with that, you can actually use stamps and letters to send messages to each other, as well as send items to each other. And this is what's kind of the fun part: is uh, depending on oh, stamp. There we go. Depending on what you're sending to them, be it an item, many items, stock items, etc. Um, there's actually a different value for these different stamps, and it may cost more to send. Uh, than others, so that's kind of neat. I figured that was an easy way for us to send stuff back and forth, especially when you've got like you know Sapper way out in the middle of nowhere or Sushi way down in mining town. It'll be kind of nice to have a quick way to get things back and forth. That's kind of sort of the 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 closest thing to a cheat, if you will, for teleport teleportation. Because as I said, we don't do teleporting on our server. Um, I don't really consider it cheap because it's. You know, it's supposed to cost money and, and time and whatnot. So um, so we'll have all the supplies in there so people can pick up mailboxes, buy stamps, buy letters, and so on. So we're going to continue working on that a little bit. Um, I've got to figure out what I'm going to do for the logo. So um, real quick here, though, I'm actually going to zip on over to the residential zone. I figured I'd give you guys a quick peek. Uh, oh, God, I completely forgot about this. VSD some way long time ago like, grabbed all the villagers and shove them into this <laughs> building right here. And they have been stuck in here f ever since, almost since the service started. <laughs> so she has imprisoned them and probably has forgotten about them and is just, you know, I don't know, a slave driver? <laughs> um, anyways, 
But uh, I'm going to weave through here. Oh, my goodness. He's done even more. Holy Moses. Snow. Oh, snow. Epic, my friend. That is beautiful. Wow. All right. So this is uh, Snow's place now, apparently. He's apparently got it all finished out. That is really cool. Holy Moses. That is really neat. Looks like a giant ice spire. He's got a little glue in here. I'm not going to go trotting around the side taking a tour per se. I'll actually wait till we get a chance to actually have him on. And we'll take a little tour of his humble abode that's now a sky <laughs> skyscraper. <laughs> um, so in addition to that, as I said, uh, both Toxic and VSD have uh, moved in to the residential zone. Toxic actually is right at the back of my house here. So this is Toxic's place. So he's starting to get things set up. And he went... Uh, a crazy route. He's actually doing um, uh, carpenter's blocks, and then I don't know if he's replacing it with other stuff. You can see some smooth sandstone here. Um, but he basically did a framework of carpenter's blocks and uh, has basically mapped everything out and looks like he's going back through and actually uh, chaining things out or skinning them or whatever the case may be. So that's going to look really interesting. I like the uh, kind of stucco ish walls and siding here <laughs> and then uh, next door to me up on the hill this is the nexus the new nexus now the nexus uh, basically is comprised of uh, VSD Argentum and Sashela uh, they are uh, real world partners uh, good friends of mine um, and their house they all live in actually is called house nexus <laughs> so this is the digital version if you will of house nexus oh that's yeah, that's really neat I like that I'll have to remember that. Um, yeah, so the VSD is usually the designer type person. Um, both Seshi and RG have said, yeah, we might pick a plot for ourselves and build something, but really and honestly, it's not really our deal, so I completely understand. That's fine. I think she might have escaped around here a little bit because it looks really nice coming down. She's got a little uh, little regen rejuvenation pool down here. I think it's kind of neat. So you can relax and regen for a bit. <laughs> Um, but just getting things kind of specked out. So this is this is actually making me very happy because people are starting to get things moved in. And again, we want to have people kind of build something around this area just so that you can kind of see people's build style, get get a feel for what they do and get to know them a little bit, which I always find really fun. Um, so I'm looking forward to see what else uh, pops up. And what in the har hoodies is over here? <laughs> <Good God. laughs> uh, this is the... Uh, or a node correction uh, kit that uh, RG has set up. RG actually set up a, um, has gotten into bees, and she's actually made a little kit. Hello, hi, how you doing there? Uh, she's actually created a little bee kit, because there's bees that will actually purify nodes and clean things up. And so she's got a little kit that comes in, a little uh, gold bag, if you will, and it's got uh, uh, a little spot loader, it's got a chest and all the piping, and uh, uh, basically... The, uh, the 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 alviary and bees that you'll need to process and to keep cycling things through. So we'll stick bees back in and keep cycling them. And apparently they clean up uh, bad aura from uh, thumbcraft issues. So that's kind of fun. And she's going to sell those kits so people who have problems and <laughs> can uh, clean up their act. <laughs> so I'll be interested to see how that turns out in her testing. So that's kind of fun. Um, yeah, so that's that's basically it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, we've been having a lot of fun here. Again, it, it's, it, it's been very active, and oh my dear lord, I apologize. I totally forgot to shut down my test server, which I'm currently running on my computer, so it's a little bit choppy. I apologize. Um, that's basically it for now. Uh, we are going to be doing a lot. Uh, I want to say look forward to more. Uh, but, of course, as always, as I said, it's, it's always a matter of when I can actually get some recording done. Um, so I'll try to get to as much as possible. I do want to get a chance to uh, uh, show you uh, the, the beginnings of uh, Arabian Nights and the beginnings of the mining town. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is wait your appetite and just tell you they're both gorgeous. <laughs> and see if I can't find some time to get on with VSD. And we'll check out... Uh, uh, Magic Town and get to know what her plans are and try to get to know her a little bit and then likewise with uh, 
uh, Seshi, I want to be able to jump on with her and show you the uh, the where my mining town is going to be. There's literally nothing there as of yet, but oh my goodness gracious, the views are just epic. So <laughs> we'll look forward to that. Uh, as always, people, I certainly do appreciate you taking the time to sit down with me, and it is always fun. Uh, to poke around here. If you see things you have questions about, if you're curious about what's going on in the server, if I blow by something, oh, wait, what was that? Uh, feel free to uh, ask. I certainly uh, do encourage uh, comments so I can respond to them. Um, you can leave the comments down below right here uh, if you like, and I'll try to respond to them if I can. If you're looking to have more of a dynamic conversation or just be able to keep up with what's going on, then I encourage you to head over to the BottleRocketGaming.com website and go ahead and sign up on the website. All parties are welcome to the website, uh, but you can sign up on there. You can be included in the groups that we talk in, like the Minecraft group. We also have a group for uh, uh, EverQuest, uh, Landmark, uh, space engineers, uh, I'm sure more to come. <laughs> There's definitely a theme there, what type of games they are being sandbox. But hey, we do play other things on occasion. <laughs> and that way you can actually have a dynamic conversation with us, which is great because we'll actually respond and answer questions and so on. Um, and of course, as I always say, if you are interested in modern Minecraft, you are certainly welcome to head over to the BottleRocketGaming.com forums and uh, sign up through there. First things first, always sign up on the website and then go ahead and fill out the uh, whitelist application for the web for our actual server, and we'll review it and talk with you. And if, like I said, if you're a good fit for us and we're a good fit for you, then we'll go ahead and have you hop on board and join us. So, look forward to hearing from you there, or just hearing from you in general on the uh, forum. So, that's it for now. Again, thank you so much. Have yourselves a great day, and I will talk to you soon. I hope. Bye. <laughs>